Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. So the Presbyterian, invisible church, a.k.a. also New Covenant, visible church. And for the Baptist, we're like, uh, visible church, and then this circle right here, invisible church, and that's the New Covenant. That's the difference. Does it make a difference? Yeah, it does. It, it matters. Doctrine matters. Um, are there other implications besides this text? Yeah, there are. But suffice it to say, we, we have Presbyterians in our church, and we are so grateful and humbled to have you here. Um, this, this is something that I, I don't think is, is worth dividing over. Right now, here's the deal. Arguments about baptism, and we're talking about mode of baptism, sprinkle, immersion, pedo, credo. Arguments about baptism are a luxury of times of peace. But when the enemy's at the door with a battering ram trying to knock it over, Presbyterians and Reformed Baptists need to unite. We need every, every fighting man we can get. And so um, our church wants to be, in that sense, not in every sense, but in that sense, as ecumenical as possible um, with, the, with the Reformed Baptist Presbyterian divide. Both are covenantal. Different expressions of, of how they're going to communicate their covenant theology, but neither is dispensational. Both are covenantal. Both are reformed. And, um, and if that's where you are on either side of the, the, the reformed Baptist or Presbyterian uh, side of the aisle, 1689 or Westminster, um, I hope that by God's grace that you would feel at home here. So all that being said, either way, if you're Presbyterian or reformed Baptist, both would see this sanctification. We would agree on this exegesis of Hebrews 10, 29. This is not mere hyperbole. This is a real sanctification. This person, in a very real way, was sanctified by the blood of the covenant. But it was an outward sanctification. It was belonging to, to your membership in the visible church. It came apart from faith. And at the end of the day, it could be lost. And this is somebody who really was sanctified outwardly but who denied the faith. And for them, there will be a greater judgment. Whether you view that as a greater judgment with the Westminster side saying you're in the new covenant, but not internally in the new covenant, and therefore there are curses, prom you know, promises and added increased curses. Or from the Reformed Baptist side, we say, yeah, to those who have received more revelation, there are stricter judgments. And that's a principle that we don't, we don't have to say you're part of the new covenant to affirm that principle. Jesus says, woe to you, these Jewish cities, for if the signs that were performed in you were performed in Sodom and Gomorrah, they would have repented long ago. Jesus literally says, your judgment will be stricter, not because you're in the new covenant, but because you have received a higher degree of revelation, signs. You've seen more. So, so the Baptists would affirm that. These are people who are going to be judged more strictly, but not because there are stricter curses under the new covenant, but simply because they were a part of the visible church, and therefore they, they received more revelation from God. So how are they sanctified? Here's the very end, quote from John Gill. He's a Reformed Baptist who would hold to all the things that I've been saying thus far. So he says, the apostate, the person who denies the faith, the person who was sanctified or separated from others by a visible profession of religion, having given himself up to the church to walk with it in the ordinances of the gospel and having submitted to baptism and partook of the Lord's Supper and drank of the cup, the blood of the new covenant, though he did not spiritually discern the body and blood of Christ in the ordinance, but counted the bread and wine, the symbols of them, as common things, and who professed Confessed himself and was looked upon by others to be truly sanctified by the Spirit and to be justified by the blood of Christ, though he was not really so. That's what we're saying. We're saying that, that if, if you belong to the visible church and you never have faith and you take of the Lord's Supper and you receive baptism and you make a credible profession of faith, and, and, and you become a church member, and you sit underneath a preached word, and you share in the communion of the saints, and you address one another and are addressed by others in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, that is, that is a real sanctification. It is not a spirit-wrought inward sanctification that comes about as a fruit of justification, but it is a real external sanctification. There is a real way in which belonging to the visible church and receiving of the sacraments and sitting under the preached word, there is a real way in which that washes us. It sanctifies us. And apart from faith, 
apart from justification and inward sanctification by the Holy Spirit, that sanctification will not save you. It will only further condemn you. And that is a warning to all those who belong to the visible church to make sure that we also, through faith alone, belong to the invisible church, truly trusting in Christ, not merely going through the motions, but making sure that we are actually in the vine, that we are in the beloved. And I believe that that's what the text is saying. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it. Big announcement, a scary announcement, a threat, but also a promise. The price of our conference, the post-millennial and theonomy conference, it's going up. It's going up right after Reformation Day. We are going to hold the price at $100, which is super cheap for a three-day conference with Dr. James White, Dr. Joseph Boot, Dr. Gary DeMar, and the guy who's not a doctor, so we'll say Pastor Joel Webbin. We've got a great conference, May 5th, 6th, and 7th in Georgetown, Texas, just north of Austin for 100 bucks, super cheap, but we can't hold that price forever. So if you want to get into that price, you got to get in now, right after Reformation Day, not Halloween, Reformation Day, October 31st. That's the last day that you can get in this conference, register at the price of 100 bucks. After that, starting November 1st, it's going to be 130 So go to rightresponseconference.com, rightresponseconference.com, and register today. Thanks.